Oh hi photography fans and welcome back to another Lensvid review. Today we're taking a look at some iFootage accessories and their new COB LED. Let's see what it can do. We have already reviewed a number of iFootage products here. The company is well known for its innovative grip products. And today we're going to take a quick look at a few new products by iFootage, including their first 60 watt COB LED daylight fixture. The first product we'll look at today is this pocket phone clamp. This $30 plastic clamp comes in different colors. It can be used as a stand or selfie grip or mounted with its Arca Swiss plate or Manfrotto 50mm extension plate. It also features a quarter inch mount to set it up on any stand like this elegant wooden mini tripod from iFootage or their flat base monopod. The flat base is very useful in the studio since it doesn't take up a lot of room. iFootage offers a tall and a short tabletop version of this monopod. Another interesting product by iFootage is the suction cup to mount cameras to the side of a vehicle or any smooth surface. Even though the suction cup is rated for up to 20 kilos of payload, since there's no fail safe, you shouldn't really use this for anything bigger than an action camera. iFootage offers these spider crab light arms to securely position your light camera setup. For a larger setup, you can combine three of these suction cups and use iFootage spider crab arms or support rods to mount the camera to the side of the car. These spider crab suction cups come in two sizes and feature quarter inch and 3 8 inch mounts on two sides and a quick release converter screw. Another interesting new product by iFootage is the LN1 on camera RGB LED. It's a pocket sized unit that comes in different colors. The light features a magnetic back for easy placement and a magnetic diffuser on the front. This tiny light packs a white color temperature range from 2800 Kelvin to 10,000 Kelvin and includes a Bluetooth controller to operate it remotely from the iFootage Lumen app. Now let's talk about this light. This is the smallest unit in the new lineup of iFootage COB LEDs. It's a pretty simple light, but it promises a couple of important innovations and sells for under $200. iFootage ships the SL160DN in a semi-hard carrying case. Included in the bundle are the light unit, the reflector, a power bricking cable, and a stand adapter. The SL1 sports a minimalist design. It's a lightweight, almost pocket-sized unit. It features an aluminum base and a plastic enclosure. The front of the light features a proprietary mount that looks like a mini Bowens mount. We're not sure if iFootage will make this mount into a whole ecosystem in the future. There's an optional Bowens mount adapter and a new 90cm softbox. Both of these feel pretty basic. The Bowens ring is made of plastic and it has this tiny hard to grip handle. The softbox is a very simple spoke lock design with flaps in the back. We're used to iFootage coming out with very innovative products, so seeing something this simple is a bit underwhelming. Hopefully, as iFootage comes out with more and more lights, the softbox design will also surprise us. The SL1 is a 5600 Kelvin light. There's a built-in Bluetooth controller that works with the same app that controls the small light. The app is pretty straightforward. It connects automatically to the light and allows to quickly change settings or pick effects. You're going too fast there, why don't you stop and hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. The unit is cooled with a pretty silent fan. The only part of the light that gets warm is the LED itself, but you wouldn't want to be touching that anyway. On the back of the light there are two clickable knobs for dimmer control and effects and menu. There's also a power button and a power cable port. The power brick comes with a small metal cable to hang it from the stand. Not the best solution, but it's nice to have. One of the most important innovations of the SL1 is the USB-C power option. It requires 100 watts of power delivery, so it's important to use it with the right cable and charger. As far as we know, this is the first 60 watt COB LED light that can be powered through USB-C. iFootage also offers a V-mount battery plate with a handle. And now it says using a 150 watt hour battery, we were only able to get about an hour of continuous output at 100% with Bluetooth enabled. One major innovation of the SL1 is the reduced blue spike in the light spectrum, which is problematic for other LED lights to accurately produce. We asked iFootage for an explanation about how they accomplished this, and we'll update the article on our website when we get an answer. Also for reference, here's a comparison of the light spectrum of natural sunlight versus a regular COB LED versus the SL1. You can clearly see the spike in the LED readings, but the SL1 readings are a lot closer to natural light. We tested the light output and color accuracy of the SL160DN from one meter away with and without a reflector using our Seikonix C800 and here are the results that we got. In conclusion, iFootage hasn't failed to provide interesting products and with these new additions to their lineup, we're excited to see what they'll come up with next. 
All of these accessories are very useful and are all in line with iFootage level of quality. The LED produces high quality light and is plenty powerful for its size. And that is it for our look at the iFootage SL1 light and the accessories. Go check out the full review on our website at lensvid.com. Subscribe to this channel and come back for more videos. We'll see you in the next one. Hello, Pez. We're gonna look at some light footage accessories and a new interesting... These spider crab suction comes. <laughs> yeah. This looks stupid. Why? Because the camera is upside down.